it was just, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty iconic, man. It's pretty, pretty incredible. I promise you, I am gonna get her back. Which of your dinosaur co-stars do you believe brought out the best in your own acting skills? That's such a funny question. There is one particularly scary, feathered, red so dinosaur so called the Pyroraptor, <laughs> which is like Thanksgiving gone wrong. And uh, this thing is freaky, and that whole sequence right there was really cool. And just looking at it, they had the thing there. And, you know, because of the texture of it, it was so important that the puppet be very final. Because a lot of times they can do like a gray puppet of the dinosaur, and they might be able to paint in some of the colors, but you can't really do that with feathers. And so the final version of the Pyroraptor was exactly what you see on screen. So as a co-star, it was uh, very effective. For me, seeing Chris having a baby raptor on his back was one of the most indelible images that I've ever encountered in my life. <laughs> like it it was just it's, it's pretty it's pretty iconic, man. It's pretty <laughs> pretty incredible. But there were so many amazing animatronic dinosaurs and just, you know, dinosaurs in general in this film and that's one of the things that people can really look forward to. There were so many animatronics in the movie that we were so fortunate to have, but then there's certain ones that it was, it was literally impossible. And so that was like, okay, this is this is a CGI one, and we just had to imagine, and that is actually a lot of fun because I mean, nothing is as powerful as your imagination when it comes down to it. It has to be the Giganotosaurus because it was like the least amount of acting that I had to do. We were shooting most of that sequence at night, so you just look up in the darkness, and all you see is like this glistening reptilian creature creeping towards you, you know, and your co-stars are all there next to you. You're all a little cold and out in the elements of like boondock nowhere UK. And it was the most otherworldly, terrifying, ridiculous uh, feeling ever. I, I gotta say Giganotosaurus, cause that was our, you know, our full size, pretty nasty, you know, big tooth dinosaur. And uh, for most all of these actors, they hadn't really been up close and personal to have that level of very intense engagement, especially as a group, when you look back at the movies, Sam, Laura, and Jeff, they didn't really, you know, combat a dinosaur as a trio in the first movie. They were sort of split off, you know, into different pairs and different groups. And so to have everybody be threatened by the same thing and to have it be real right there in front of us, uh, even for me, uh, was pretty awesome. Don't move.